you've seen this gif. The ending of Slumdog Millionaire. And, um, okay, look, I'm American, and I've never seen a full Indian film in my entire life. But that all has to change now that I've witnessed R, R, R. Scrap the f in for writer-director S.S. Rajamuli's epic historical action musical that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that American movies would be ten times better if Vin Diesel and The Rock could do this. I don't think so. Where instead of using VFX to cut down on costs, they use it to make their stars do the impossible and pack in so much animal mayhem. They had to put freaking oxen in the disclaimer. Oxen. Look out. He brought a zoo. Follow the story of two real historical figures, though I'm pretty sure they never did this together. Raju is a Delhi police officer who's always hot. Bean is a jungle warrior who's always wet. When fate makes them all hot and wet together, their bond grows so powerful, it transcends words. <laughs> As these two brothers in arms speak the universal language of beatdowns. Dance battles. <laughs> and casual horse versus motorcycle beach racing. That's just something they do in a Now or Friends montage. It's not even part of the plot. Just beautiful stuff, man. Delve into a history and culture you probably have zero non-racist references for. But you've seen enough Michael Bay movies to wonder, am I watching propaganda right now? This looks like Captain America's USO show. But whatever they're selling to Indians, one message is clear to the entire world. Seriously, f the British. As the Brits range from evil <laughs> to demonic. I want to see his neck drawn out tight and his eyes bulge and pop just before his neck snaps. To holy sh that woman carries a spiked whip between her legs just in case someone needs torturing. Aren't you quite vicious, my dear? In a portrayal that's so negative, it got an actual Englishman to pin a rebuttal of mild annoyance. My word, what an off-putting display. Tut tut indeed. Settle in for a three-hour runtime so there's room for action, dancing, singing, comedy, politics, and romance. Not between the leads, but yeah, there's definitely some tension there. <laughs> like the romance between Raju and Sita, a girl who waited four years for her man to pick up something from the store. And the romance between Beam and Jenny, a story of how true love overcomes all, even not knowing a single word the other person's saying. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Sorry? Oh, I wish I knew what you were saying. I'm sorry. Jenny? Good time, Jenny. Aw, I'm rooting for these two. Just be careful about the in-laws. So strap in for the year's most eye-popping, crowd-pleasing spectacle that brings a joy to action filmmaking not seen since Stephen Chow or James Cameron that will have even the most jaded Hollywood moviegoer dancing in the aisles and rushing to catch up on at least 50 years of Tolly and Bollywood films to see what they've missed. <laughs> Happy Diwali, folks. I think I'm gonna like it here. Starring Raj Against the Machine Brit Rule Can't Melt Steel Beams The Village People Jenny Punisher Colonial War Zone Elsa from The Last Crusade? I did not see that coming. And summoning all your strength like a dang DBZ character. F.
Can we import this movie's stunt coordinator to fix superhero flicks over here? And not just because he's great, because his name is King Solomon.